So if reports are to be believed, Romney Critchlow is set to sign for Peterborough United on a free transfer. He was released by Huddersfield Town after a loan spell with my team Bradford City. And in today's video, I will be bringing you guys my thoughts and opinions on this news. If you do go on to enjoy, please make sure to drop a like on there for me. If you could try and hit 70 likes on today's video, that'd be massively appreciated. Subscribe if you are new as well. We are on the road to 8,000 subscribers, so please make sure you are subscribed if you haven't already with that post notification bell on. It's free to do and it does massively help out. Drop a comment in as well down in the comment section down below. Bradford fans, do you think this will be a good move for Romney Critchlow? Obviously, he had a really, really good season with Bradford City and it looks like he will now be making that step up permanently into League One. I was surprised to see if this news does come off that he's gone to a team like Peterborough who obviously challenged for the playoffs last season, made it into that playoff semi-final and obviously we all know what happened against Sheffield Wednesday in both legs, really. One of the craziest, if not the craziest, playoff semi-final matches you will ever see. But, I expected him more to go somewhere like a Port Vale or a Leighton Orient, somewhere like that, somewhere where they were going to be around mid-table, maybe slightly in that lower half. I didn't think he'd go to a team who were probably going to want to challenge for automatic promotion the next season. Now, obviously, Darren Ferguson has recently been given a new, I think it was a three-year contract as well with the football club. It's like his third or fourth stint with the club, and he's back there again for another three years, and Critch, though, will now be potentially a part of that. Obviously, nothing is officially confirmed, but I don't normally do transfer videos videos about players who have left when they're not officially at our play but I thought in today's video we'll just give you guys my thoughts and opinions on this news so make sure to drop a like on there for me subscribe if you are new as well and let's get into it so the news actually broke at 8.45 this morning where Football Insider 247, who were a fairly reliable source on Twitter, tweeted saying, FI sources, Peterborough United are in talks to sign Romney Critchlow on a free transfer when he officially leaves Huddersfield Town. The 24-year-old is out of contract this summer and spent last season on loan at Bradford City. Now, if you actually click on the link and go to their exclusive archives, page over on the Football Insider website. The article has since been taken down, so I'm not really too sure what's gone on there. The two articles in between are something about Man City star Riyad Mahrez rejects £120 million offer, which was at 7.40am, and then at 9.21am uh, there was another article about Portsmouth and Aberdeen in the race to sign former Liverpool forward Harvey Blair. So I'm not too sure where the Critchlow article has gone, but it appears to have disappeared off of the website. Simon Parker, though, who is also a very reliable sports journalist, obviously works for the TNA. He's also put an article out about it which pretty much confirms it. I think when he does something on it, you probably know that it is going to be true. His article does read though, claim ex Bantams Romney Critchlow in Peterborough talks. The article does then read, Romney Critchlow does not want to play in League 2 again. Romney Critchlow is rumoured to be interested in Peterborough. The League 1 at playoff semi-finalists are said to be in talks with the former lone City defender according to a report by Football Insider. Critchlow, who played 41 times for the Bantams last season. He's looking for a new club after being released by Huddersfield. City fans had hoped that he might be tempted to a return to Valley Parade on a permanent basis, but it was understood from the start that a 24-year-old was reluctant to drop down to the fourth tier again. If the reports are true, he could now get that chance to step up a level at Posh as they try to rebuild following last month's shattering playoff exit to eventual Wembley winners Sheffield Wednesday. Now, the thing that's interesting for me is, obviously Critch, though, is a very good player and, you know, English, young, left-sided centre half so it was always going to be very hard to try and tie him down but has he been that good this season that he deserves to be playing week in week out potentially in League One I'm not sure obviously he had his injury problems and he couldn't get back into the side over Stubbs and Platt the only time he came back in was when Matty Platt got sent off away at Crawley and he played the final few games of the season but the thing for me is personally as good as Critch though is on the ball I think Platt and Stubbs are both better defenders. And I know necessarily Platt and Stubbs aren't as good at playing out from the back, which is obviously Mike Hughes' style of playing. Critchlow by far and away is much better than that and does give you that balance on the left side. I think if Platt and Stubbs are going to play, then obviously you will play Stubbs on that left side. We're not even mentioning Kieran Kelly as well, who we signed in January from Bohemians as well. I think we paid, do we pay an undisclosed fee for him or was it an uh, um, a free transfer? I'm not really too sure. It might have been a compensation package. I don't really know off the top of my head. He's got another two years to run with his contract with the football club and he looks like that potential Romney Critchlow replacement. It looked like we got that business done early. And I wouldn't even hate if we started the season with Stubbs and Kelly and then you got Platt as an option in there or Stubbs and Platt. I personally think that 
especially Stubbs and Platt, are better defenders than Critchlow. Now, the thing with Kelly is he's played, what, four games and all of them have been on off the bench. So he's not played enough to give you guys enough context. But we're going to compare Stubbs, Platt and Critchlow in terms of passing, defensively and all that sort of stuff. Jules as well will compare all the statistics to really see, according to the data, by who scored, not who scored, a sofa score, who actually is the best centre-back at Bradford City from the season just gone by. If we start out then by comparing their passing statistics, Romney Critchlow has a 76% passing accuracy with 84% in his own half and 60% in the opposition half. If we compare that then to Sam Stubbs in the season just gone by, he had a 72% passing accuracy, 81% in his own half and 55% in the opposition half. Whereas Matty Platt in the season just gone by had a 70% passing accuracy, 83% in his own half and 51% in the opposition half. So the stats back it up. Critchlow is clearly our best ball playing distributor of the football and I don't think anyone can really disagree with that you know his composure on the ball his calmness is absolutely brilliant and you've got to give him credit for that because he is very good at it yes he has been prone to a mistake this season which did lead to a goal unfortunately it was in that game at home to Gillingham I don't think either Stubbs or Platt have had an error leading to a goal I think obviously Stubbs was kind of at fault for that second goal in the second leg at Carlisle he obviously gave away a stupid corner but that wasn't directly his fault you know we should have dealt with that corner much better and then Matty Platt I don't think gave away a penalty not a penalty I don't think gave away a goal this season I might be wrong you have to let me know down in the comment section down below but I'm pretty sure they didn't in terms of their defensive stats then clean sheets is a bit of a hard one because obviously they all played a different amount of games Romney Critchlow kept nine clean sheets in at 29 stats Sam Stubbs kept uh, 8 clean sheets in 19 starts and Matty Platt kept 15 clean sheets in 38 starts so they're pretty similar for the amount of games that were played. Romney Critchlow defensively kept um, average 1.2 interceptions per game, 0.8 tackles per game and 4.9 clearances per game whereas Sam Stubbs he averaged 1.6 interceptions per game 0.9 tackles per game and 4.7 clearances per game so Stubbs clearly better intercepting and averaging tackles whereas Critchlow had slightly more clearances per game as well and in terms of Matty Platt, he averaged 1.4 inceptions per game, 1.5 tackles per game and 4.7 clearances per game as well. So Critchlow slightly more clearances but Platt and Stubbs both with more tackles and inceptions. Now tackles, I don't know if that's successful tackles or just tackles attempted. In terms of duels per 90, Romney Critchlow averaged 5.2 total duels per 90 winning 63% of them. 1.4 on the ground winning 60% and 3.8 uh, 3 sorry in the air winning 65%. In terms of Sam Stubbs, he averaged 7 7.9 total duels per 90 winning 67%, 2.2 on the ground winning 60% and 5.8 in the air winning 71% so Stubbs clearly much better in the air than Critchlow and they're both the same on the ground but obviously Stubbs has attempted more uh, attempted more of the total duels so I guess you've got to look at it from that point of view and in terms of Matty Platt he averaged 6.2 total duels per 90 winning 70% of them, 2.2 on the ground winning 63% and 3.9 in the air winning 74% so clearly Stubbs and Critchlow are much, uh, Stubbs and Platt, sorry, are much better than Critchlow in terms of total duels. The only thing that Critchlow really has on Stubbs and Platt defensively is more clearances, and that's only 0.2 more per 90. So, a little bit of something for you to take into consideration there. And I'm more than aware stats don't mean everything in football, and you could argue that obviously certain games they'll have played against easier teams, harder teams. So, it's not an accurate 100% representation of who is actually the better defender but I think if you have the eye test yes Critchlow's got the pace on Platt and especially Sam Stubbs but defensively in League 2 you need to be solid and I don't think Critchlow is a solid I actually think Critchlow would be much better as a holding midfielder if you were to play a 4-2-4 next season and have Smallwood and Critchlow as your two sitters in front of Platt and Stubbs as your centre-backs and obviously whoever your uh, full-backs are going to be and then just play with four attackers and go for it I think that would have worked really well in my opinion but obviously Critchlow looks very likely that he's going to go to League One and I wish him all the best I do hope that he smashes it because He's given his everything for Bradford City. Whilst being on loan from one of our arch rivals, he's given absolutely everything. I've got to give him so much credit for that. Unfortunately, we couldn't quite get the job done, but ultimately, he was part of a defence that ultimately conceded a lot of late goals, conceded some sloppy goals at times as well. And while for the majority of the campaign, especially that first half, he was exceptional, I do think Critchlow is replaceable, to be honest with you. And we all know the track record that Peter United have got of developing young players and selling them on for a profit. I think we all know Critchlow has that potential to play in the Championship and I think the way that he's built would suit the championship obviously very very good on the ball a calm composed head now with the thing is with Critchlow he likes to step in quite a lot and do a, a lot of fake shots would a league one striker be more likely to read that than a league
League Two striker, probably. So he might get caught out doing that in at League One. And potentially, if he does get a move to the Championship, if he gets promoted with Peterborough, I think they will probably give him a long term contract as well, probably three years, maybe two years with the option of a further year. But I do think it, it could be a good move for him. I think this is the perfect move for him because he more than likely will get game time. Ronnie Edwards might move on. There's a couple there centre halves on the transfer list. I think overall, this is a Peterborough United model style centre back. And unfortunately, D Mac is still the Peterborough and he's not quite taken over Bradford City yet. And it looks like that won't be happening anymore, unfortunately, if it ever was potentially on the cards. And now he's gone and taken one of our best players from last season, which is unfortunate. But like what I say, compared to stats, as good as Critchlow is on the ball, defensively, Stubbs and Platt are better. To summarise then, I think we all knew what Romani Critchlow returning to Bradford City for the upcoming campaign was very, very unlikely. And I wish him all the very best at Peterborough. But make sure you take into consideration that we've got options there. We've still already got four centre-backs at the club. So Critchlow coming in would have probably already meant the end for Odessina. But anyway, I am going to leave it there for today's video. If you have enjoyed, please make sure to drop a like on there for me. If you could turn it 70 likes on today's video, that'd be massively appreciated. Subscribe if you are new as well. We are on the road to 8,000 subscribers. So please make sure you are subscribed if you haven't already with that post notification bell on. It's free to do so and it does massively help out. Drop a comment in as well down in the comment section down below. Let me know, Peterborough fans, are you excited about this potential signing? And Bradford fans, do you think this is a good move for Critchlow? Obviously, nothing is officially confirmed as of right now, but it looks very, very likely. Thank you very much for watching today's video. Have a good rest of your day, and I'll see you all very soon for the potential Johnny Williams signing video. Peace.